Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Alrighty, so last time we uh, took a little detour and we started working on... Uh, I wanted to put up the fusion reactor, or the fission reactor, from Nuclearcraft to start making plutonium. And I wanted to make the uh, extreme reactor because it was a gate and because I can split up the cyanide production uh, with another reactor pretty much instead of doing double duty on the fission reactor, which you can, uh, but I don't want to conf you know like confuse the lines and stuff. I want to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, let me switch to my radioactive suit. Make sure I don't kill myself when I touch the plutonium and stuff. I'll show you what I did. So down here, I added a, a button, a door and a button. And let's see, I've been emptying this out uh, periodically. So we're, we have more than enough cyanide coming in. I keep refilling it with uranium, uh, but overall, I think we're, we're doing well. Uh, cyanide, I turned into blocks and then with the blocks, uh, you craft, manually craft the mox fuel. So let's see, let's make some more mox fuel. Mox nuclear fuel, I want to make them with the plutonium. Oh yeah, and I found out that I don't need to change it. I can just go over here to this one and it pulls regular re uranium works as well. You don't have to chisel it. So that's plutonium and let's make a stack. I don't ever need more than a stack because it burns super slow. This has been burning for about 20 hours now since yesterday. Uh, and uh, I put in a stack and it's barely, barely did a stack. So this one's generating 21,000 and this one's generating 25,000. So that's a good amount of uh, RF, extra RF. Let me put this away because it's radioactive. So yeah, I've been running it through here. It's been spitting them out here. See I'm overflowing on tiny piles of plutonium now. More than enough plutonium. Plutonium for days. Let's get rid of these. I'll put these up. Let's see, Let's we can get rid of these. And then what I want is plutonium. We make plutonium with the tiny plutonium, which I made some more empowered payless. Here's the cyanide. Mana and cobalt is coming from the void ore miner. Uh, so the on only thing that we have to make is the Empowered Payless, which I make them uh, in stacks of 64. So there we go. Yep. 64 plus 10 plutonium, which then I break back down. There we go. Look at that. These two are the plutonium that we've gotten. Even though they look the same, they're not going in the same slot. These are the two that we got from uh, Dungeon Loot. And in under 20 hours, we're already at 681 plutonium. And this is doing this manually, just here and there. You know, like I'm walking, I leave my computer on. Uh, right before dinner, I'll manually move this. And we've already manually done 681 plutonium so that's pretty impressive to me uh, thinking about like if you set up really complex automation it'd be really cool like that's that's how you make uh, you turn uh, uranium into cyanide and then cyanide and the plutonium into or the cyanide into mox fuel uh, plutonium into mox fuel then you burn it for plutonium, and then plutonium into mox fuel, and you keep cycling it through, you end up with a net gain on plutonium, and then you can make plutonium. So net gain, plutonium, net gain on plutonium. It works really well. Uh, let me see, I don't have anything that's poisonous on me anymore, right? Cool. 
So the next thing that I wanted to work on, now that I have that going, uh, I wanted to go back to advanced rocketry. And the first thing that I want to put together is the, uh, the space station assembler. So let's see if we can make this together. I'm pretty stoked. I want to make the space station, get it up and running. There we go. That's the space station. Dilithium dust came from the dilithium ore um, from going to the moon. And then you can also take the dilithium dust in the crystallizer to make dilithium crystals, which the warp core runs off of. So there we go. That's the space station. Let's see. Advanced rocketry. Yep, space station loot chests. I'm not going to open them because they just clutter everything. They've been s all of the junk from the loot chests have been cluttering my ME drives, so I've just been leaving them incomplete in there for now. Space station ID chip. Let's make that. I believe we're going to need three of them. Space station ID chips. So let's see. Oh, we're going to make more linking tools. Can they stack? They cannot stack. Let's make three. And then let's make three. Can these stack? Yeah, they, they can stack. Cool, three of these is good. I'm going to put one in the uh, as the space station, uh, one in the rocket to get to the space station, and then I'm going to stick one into the uh, ME system just in case I lose it, because I don't want to lose the ID and then have everything that I put up in the space station be lost forever. That just scares me. Uh, I know we need the space station container, so let's just go ahead and build this as well. It is... That's probably just... I can't click on it, so I'll figure it out later. We got some, some zombie thinking he's boss. Get out of here. And ditch this. Let's see, what was the next quest we needed to do? We need to make the satellite builder. Satellites can be used to collect data from celestial objects. Cool. And then the uh, oxygen vent and the gravity controller for the space station. Now we can make the warp core. That's pretty cool. So let's see. I know I am pretty sure the space station assembler can take the place of the rocket assembling machine. I can replace that. Space station assembler. Cool. Nothing here. We can scan it. So what I'm going to do, instead of making a whole new uh, platform, let's get our space suit. Take this off. Put this on. And I found out you have to have the entire suit on for it to be airtight. Uh, just putting the chest with the gas tanks, with the air tanks, won't work. We'll grab that. And let's see, Destination Luna. And let's fly to the moon real quick. I'm gonna, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to leave the rocket on the moon and then build on this station. Sounds like there's no sound. Weird. Okay, off to the moon. Space to descend. Let me check the options real quick. Music and sounds. Everything's still on.
There we go. It's just really quiet. There we go. Now we're on the moon again. Awesome. And I wanted to leave the spaceship here for now. Uh, and then we can dial home. Home, dial. And then we'll go back without the spaceship. go. Ah, and if you, if the game can keep up with my rendering, uh, what you just heard was my new pet dragon. I built him a roost up here. I went flying around for a little bit, found an underground cave that was peeking out the top. I would like for this to render please. It's the most annoying thing about Minecraft is not rendering. Even though I have 16 gigs of RAM dedicated to Minecraft, it does not want to render fast enough. There we go. Beefy boy, you're getting bigger. I bump you a bit. Beefcake. I'm gonna need to make your roost bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know you're a big beefy boy. I'll make his roost bigger. He was a little bit smaller when I put him there. So I think he's growing because of each Minecraft day, he grows a little bit bigger. So I'll have to make the, the roost a little bit larger. And before he gets hurt, before he gets stuck in a wall and gets hurt, let me put him in a horn real quick. Last thing I want is him to get too big and then start getting hurt by the wall. So I'll work on that. I'll make his his little nest a little bit bigger so that he has some more room. Okay, so now we should have an empty platform to work with. <clears throat> Wait for this to load. I wonder if, I think, I wonder if other YouTubers have this problem and they just, this is what they edit out. They might just edit this out and come back later when it's not all busted anymore. There's a drowning chicken over there. <laughs> it's funny to see, it's like turning on spectator mode. It's cool to see where all the cave illuminator and everything has gone. Cool. So here I wanted to build the space station or like the platform that we're going to make. Uh, so let's see, I wanted to use <clears throat> uh, stone slabs, polished stone. Yeah, I'll make it out of polished stone. Make a five by five, same size as the launch pad. There we go. That'll be my five by five. So do I need to do this first? Put it in there and then scan. Missing satellite bay. Okay, so the satellite bay needs to go on the machine. So let's go ahead and make the satellite builder. Whoa, that's a lot. Let's see what we're missing. 
Satellite Bay. Satellite Builder. We're missing data storage. Okay, so we need to make that in the Precision Assembler. So let's go ahead and jump down there real quick. Precision Assembler. We need an emerald. We need basic circuit and redstone. Let's go with 32. That, 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 just in case we're going to need more. Oh no, I need to do that one. There we go. 32. Put you up. What else do we need? We need basic circuits, we need a hopper. We need the machine structures, we need a saw blade, which we need the middle piece. Okay. We need any motor. Okay, so that I don't think that'll increase the speed. So let's make a regular motor. We need copper coils. Not blocks, this. Whoops, I thought I was going to make just seven. Let's make a regular motor. And then let's grab the machine structures that I have hidden away. Where did I? There it is. <clears throat> That's the satellite builder. I'm gonna put you up. Awesome, satellites, yeah, satellites. And then next one is Astrobody Data Processor. We can make the oxygen vents and the gravity controllers for the space station. So let's see. Let's go back upstairs and then sleep. And let's put you down. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to need power. I'll put you there. Wait, what? Whoops. How do I end up with two? All right, satellite builder. Ah, oh, it needs to sit on an input? Or what is it? So I guess this guy does not need to be part of this multi-block. Let's see, satellite builder. Let's see, do we have the hollow projector? And let's see if the satellite builder is on the hollow projector. Lathe crystallizer. Biome scanner, black hole. Got the data processor though. Observatory, precision assembler, nope. Hmm. I think it needs to sit on an output hatch. Well, let me try a machine structure first. satellite builder nope so it's not a mis machine structure I think it's an output hatch S 
so let me make sure before I waste something Input plug? <clears throat> Does that mean it needs power? Let's do an input plug. input and then let's put you downstairs if you're not required to be part of the multi-block all right let's find some power put you right hmm Go ahead and put you right here. There we go. There's some power. <clears throat> power input. And then let's do the satellite builder. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Now I'm starting to think it does need to be next to a machine. New mechanism. Move you. Power input. And then the satellite builder. Missing satellite bay. Satellite bay. Okay, so maybe I clicked the wrong thing earlier. Or maybe it didn't give me access to it until I made this unit. Now I'm not sure. I'd have to rewatch the video to see what, why it didn't let me make that earlier. So let's see, we need the satellite bay. Okay. And now like that. There we go. Now it's ready. Did it build it? Scanned it? Build it? Cool. Okay. So now we have a space station container. That's probably what I clicked. And now we have this station one ID chip, cool. So in the satellite builder, we take the station ID chip one, we take the unprogrammed one, and then we can do write to secondary chip. Cool, so when you have another station one, and then we can do the same thing again, write to secondary chip. Awesome, now we have station one, station one, and station one. Cool, that's what I wanted to do. 
And then now we have the space station container. Let's see, satellite terminal. Satellite builder. Put you away. We have the space station container, which I'll put onto the ship. And now what I wanted to do was fly the rocket ship back. So let's head back to the moon. I'm still wearing the space suit. Cool. Moon 13, dial. go. With an open hand, shift right click, select destination, we're going to select the Earth, and now space to take off, destination Earth. I'm hoping as soon as I land, I'll be able to put the satellite bay, the station bay, on there and then launch it again to the station. Descending back to Earth. Altitude is dropping. Fuel consumption is actually pretty well. I was worried that flying the spaceship was going to just drain the fuel completely. Afterburners. And we're back. Whoa, so much smoke. All right, so. Now we have the satellite builder. Space station container. Station one ID chip. Let's see, build. Will it work like that? Man, can't see anything through this smoke. Okay, let's see. Probably have to shift right click and then disassemble. And now build. Can I put this physically on the rocket? Guidance computer, space station assembler, space station container. It needs to go into something. The guidance computer should get the station one ID card. Okay, so I do need to build another, a second satellite bay. I need to build a second satellite bay, and this satellite bay is going to be a container that holds the uh, 
a station that we just put together. So it's kind of counterintuitive. You would think that it would make one item, but then you have to make an item that holds that item and make that part of the spaceship. So that's the piece that I was missing. Now we just need to hit build on the rocket. Missing satellite bay. Wonderful. It's right there. <clears throat> yep, satellite bay is right there. Why are you telling me that it's missing satellite bay? So let's remove this again and grab that second rocket building station that I had. I built another. I think I built two by accident. The rocket assembling machine. Good thing I built two by accident. Let's scan it. Clear for liftoff, build. And then we need to link it so that it gets fuel. Or is it still linked? I'm curious because I linked it to the... No, yeah. I need to link the fueling station now with the rocket assembling machine since I got rid of it. And we need to let this guy... See? Destination station one. We need to let our fuel fill up so that we can fly to the new station and it should unpack itself when we get up there. Let's see, with this space station assembler, we put this guy right here then, and then that is a factory block. See the rocket assembling machine and the space station assembler both look identical. We still have our spacesuit on. Let me put this up for right now. I have the power cell and our dialing device and our matter receiver and transmitter. Let's see what we can build while it's fueling itself up. Uh, let's look at the two quests that we have here are for the oxygen vent. When supplied with oxygen and power, we'll fill the room it's in with oxygen given that it's airtight. The size it can fill with oxygen is limited but large. Does I wish it would tell me how much actually. So let's make an oxygen vent. And then do we need a gravity controller? Since we have angel rings, it doesn't really matter. So let's do oxygen first. oxygen vent. We need a steel fan. We need a liquid fuel tank. And we need a motor. I wonder if the, the speed of the motor matters. Oxygen vent. So with that we can also send the oxygen from, uh, maybe we can do an, a quantum entangler porter and send the oxygen directly to the new space station as well. And then let's see, I think CO2 scrubbers were on the on the list as well. We got CO2 scrubbers. You want one CO2 scrubber and one carbon collection. The CO2 scrubber with carbon collection cartridge in will decrease the amount of oxygen the oxygen vent uses. You can make up to two you can place up to two next to the oxygen vent. The rotation of the CO2 scrubbers matters. Yeah, and it's too bad. These things will decay with time. So CO2 scrubbers. Okay, so it looks like we need another fan. Let's make two. And then let's make the two motors that we need. and carbon brick, okay. And let's make two of these guys, okay. And then scrubber, radiation scrubber, that's the CO2 scrubber. 
Carbon. I already forgot what it was called. Carbon collection cartridge. Let's see, iron sheets. Cool, so we have a use for the rolling machine. We can get some iron plates going. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and make some of these. 62 is more than enough because it's going to multiply it by 4. So let's see. Rolling machine. Let's fire these bad boys out. What's the point of two output hatches when it only uses one of them? Carbon collection. And let's just hit. There we go, 41 sounds good. Not sure how many the machine takes, but we're gonna be good on carbon scrubbers for a while. I don't know I don't know much about the astrobody data processor yet. Gravity controller is not that important. Warp core is going to be important. Nice. Okay, the warp core. And now we can make the warp controller. We need a user interface. A machine structure, really? Advanced circuit. Let's see if we have any of the wafers. We do not. Warp controller, advanced circuit, wafer. Needs a wafer, redstone, and intricate. Intricate. We get the balls. Warp. Grab these wafers and fire these through. Grab some of these real quick. Make a warp controller. Ah, oh, yeah, the machine blocks. Machine structures. Let's make six more. Man, warp controller. Nice. Put you up and put y'all up. Warp core. So we need, wow, 15 titanium blocks. Good thing I've been getting some rutile ore. Blocks of gold. Let's see, do I have 15 blocks of titanium? Okay, good. Yeah, because of the uh, rutile ore from the digital miner on the moon. Gold. And what else? Four machine structures and an input hatch. Okay, good. We just have enough input hatch. Looks like we just have enough. And then let's see. Dilithium crystals, I've already made some. Let's make some more while we're at it. 
Ooh, yeah, I do have a lot more. Okay. Put you back in there. Oh no, that's the output hatch. Oh, I'm getting dingers from the stuff that we mined on. What we mined on the moon already. Prosperity, dimensional, and mana infused. Cool. Those were on the moon. Warp controller. Okay, I'm thinking we're good to go. So let's see. Yeah, nighttime's not going to matter if, as long as this guy can lift off now. How are we on fuel? Fuel is good. Space to take off. I'm wearing my suit. Let's make this happen. Fly into space and is not making any noise. See, flying above Earth. It should land on a 5x5 five five platform now. Can't see the platform yet. There it is. And we're in space. I'm so glad the angel ring works. I was terrified that it wasn't going to work. All right, so let's see. Polished stone, chiseled stone, cobble, stone, dirt. Stone slab, charred grass, moon turf, basalt. Where are you, buddy? Chiseled stone, yeah, that should be right there. Grass, charred, 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 stone slabs, polished stone, chiseled stone. There we go. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And then what was it? 13 plus 13 is 26 is, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Oh no. I needed 31 was the magic number. Yeah. So one, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, and then this one should just be straight back. Perfect. That is going to be my platform that I'm going to work with because I'm planning on moving everything back here into space. Let's see. I'm going to have a hollow wall. Whoop. I knew I was going to do that if I go too fast. Okay. <clears throat> hollow walls. Feeling kind of stressed because of the oxygen, but I think because we have two of the titanium tanks, we'll be fine. And that should be, that's hollow walls. Looking good. Good thing is, because there's no gravity, I can tell, like, I won't fall instantly if I don't activate my jetpack. So that's hollow walls. And then what I'm going to need is... Where are my slabs? Stone slabs. Oh yeah, the stone slabs don't like to come out of the dank null. All right. Okay, and now this I can solve with the wand. God, I'm terrified that I'm going to accidentally throw something out of my inventory and it's going to fall into oblivion. Thank God for this angel ring. I don't know if I my nerves could handle this if I didn't have an angel ring. All right. It's a big old platform. And then let's see what we got. Don't think it's going to pull out of the dank null. Should have brought a storage crate with me. The wireless terminal, yeah, it's not going to reach. Wireless out of range. 
So let me do something real quick. Put down this stuff. And I'll put it over here out of the way for right now. We got power, it's set to out. Put the dialing device on top. And then the matter beamer on the right and the matter transmitter on the left. And let's name this. Ooh, I almost wrote what I the, the the secret of what I'm building. So let's just do space station. Space station. And then also the here space station. We got that up and running. Let's see, we can get the warp controller. Let's grab the hollow projector. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be in here. Rolling machine, electric arc, chemical warp core. And let's just put the warp core. I'm gonna move this, I know I'm gonna move it. So right there, that looks good. So we need the warp controller. No, that's the warp core. Warp core. And the warp controller. Is the warp core input hatch. Does it need power though? It doesn't, hmm, maybe I should build everything over on the other side. Just to be safe, just in case. I don't want to build them too far apart and then be a total noob. So let's put you right here. How about here? Yeah, temporary position anyways. Warp core. The titanium plates. Or blocks, I mean. Whoa. Titanium block, titanium block, titanium block. What's in the middle? Gold is in the middle. Gold in the middle. It's colorful. I like it. Okay. Machine structures and gold. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ugh. There we go. And then machine structures here, there, there, and there. And go up one. And input hatch. Cool. So the top. Gets the input hatch, man. Input hatch and then titanium around it. There. Looks neat. I guess, is that one open on that side? Because it doesn't highlight? Yeah, no. There. And boom. Pretty. I like it. Input hatch. Let's get some dilithium in you. Nice. Oh, wow. I perfectly had five. That's the warp core, baby. All right. Warp controller. Put you in the front. Select planet. Planet list, nice. <laughs> Up, Proxima Centauri, planet list. Select Proxima Centauri, HD. Up, Soul. Cool, that's ours. 
Proxima Centauri. Okay, there we go. Stella. Filaka. Cool. Nice. This is cool. But I don't want to warp until tonight when uh, when Trin can join us. Oxygen. What am I going to do about oxygen? I guess I could... If I really wanted to... <clears throat> I could, I can, of course, I can build the station and then put oxygen inside of the station. I can do that. I can also do a gas charge pad. Hmm. So, one thing I want to test out now that we have the dialing device here. Oxygen vent, CO2 scrubbers. I'll deal with that later. Let's test this out and dial home. Dialing device power low. Is it not plugged in? Or does it not take power this way? No, I've done that before. It's not powering. That's weird. I've always done it like this. Are all the sides set to out? That's weird. You got power. No, you didn't get power either. Why are you not getting power? You, yeah, link ID 1. And then out. Hmm. Um, I wonder if it's just flat out not enough power. So I can't test this now, but luckily I can fly the ship back. So let's do that real quick. I need to shift right click. So no, do not disassemble. So select destination. Whoa. What is this? It all bugged out on me. Okay. Well, it says destination Earth. So, yeah, I need to figure out what's up with the power. Maybe if I disconnect the Void Ore Miner for a little bit, uh, I can get it to work again. That's just weird. It should be cross-dimension. I've done it in the Nether. This might be that we're just out of power. We don't have enough power. Hmm. Definitely can't teleport there, or I'll. I think it'll kill my character if I teleport to a, a matter receiver that doesn't have, have power. Hmm. I know I need to work on power because though, as soon as I upgraded to the void ore miner uh, tier five and put in all the speed upgrades, uh, when I checked the mod spotlight on environmental tech, it told me of tier six with full speed modifiers only did around 100,000 RF a tick, which I think might be tweaked in this mod pack because I was running over 200,000 with the fusion reactor and this, and all of a sudden all of my power just died and now it's 180 in, 180 out. So I think the void ore miner is gobbling up all of the, all of the RF that's being created. So I know that one of the things that I do want to work on is uh, the nuclear craft fusion, the fusion reactor, because that's what I had it all set up as. Let's see. It is fueling it, right? Let's see. Yep, it's fueling. Refueling. And what's cool is it, I guess it automatically changes from station one to uh, Earth. I didn't have to 
click anything else. So let's see. Yeah, like the one, I know the next thing that I want to do is I want to build this. I have the template set for it. This is where I want the machine. I ended up spreading it apart one more so that more power can be formed with electromagnets. So that's going to be our our uh, main power source for a while is going to be the nuclear craft fusion reactor. That's going to pump in a whole lot more. I'm hoping it's going to go over a solid mill. Uh, let's see, maybe if I disconnect the void ore miner just for a little bit, I can come up here and I can just set this guy to inputs. And now you should croak from power. Yeah, your buffer is going up. Turn off the void ore miner. And now let's see. New mechanism. Let's see, maybe I can teleport from here now that it has power. I'm hoping it'll tell me don't teleport here. It's low power. So dial space station. Dial OK. Please don't die. OK, I'm here. And I didn't die. And now it has power. OK, so I guess the problem is that the void ore miner is gobbling up too much power. Which is a bummer. We got a warp core. I can select destinations, I can fly it. What's kind of cool is now that we have this setup going, I can. I guess I can either keep this pad here. I better keep it just in case I want to fly the ship. But now we can teleport here. And this is where I want to start building. And I have a really specific, really cool build that I want to build. All right, lost in thought for a second. So here, let me turn off F1. This is our platform and it's the beginning of our expansion into space. So with that, uh, I'll leave you on that. Uh, we had a couple of hiccups going on, but this is a wonderful place to stop. Thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow. Thank you.